Hey everyone, normally my videos are a bit more scripted and edited, but I really wanted to get this one out to y'all. Before we go into the game, as always, I was provided an alpha copy of a loft from the developer Astrolabe Interactive. So let's get into a loft, starting with genre. Boy, let me tell you, I have had a hard time pinning you guys down. I'm pretty sure I know what you like about my video essays, but when it comes to the game reviews, I'm still at a bit of a loss. See, I'll play almost anything, but what I want to bring to the table is the best stuff that you guys don't know about yet, and a few recurring themes stuck out to me. The primary one being exploration. Now, I've spent some time with Aloft, and let me tell you, I am thoroughly impressed. Now, it is an alpha. Things are going to look a little janky, they're going to look a little weird. Some menus don't have options, the game isn't done. But it's not like they're selling the game in this state, it's not scheduled to release until 2024. There is, however, a demo available right now, link in the description, and if you like it I encourage you to wishlist it as things like that really help developers out. Anyway, what I'm getting at here is that I've paid good money for games in early access with less content than this. The core gameplay loop is there, it's fleshed out, and it's fun. And I think it's easier to tell without all the excess of a completed game, the core gameplay loop and the mechanics are engaging and enjoyable. So, what are the mechanics, what's the loop? As it stands, the gameplay loop is building cool buildings and flying to different islands and getting crafting recipes which you use to build cooler buildings. The building is very similar to Valheim without the weight distribution thing they did. I think it's really fun and really easy to use. It also does the thing Valheim did where building unique structures, you know, doors, windows, etc., still just uses wood or stone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain a bit better here. Most of you have probably played Minecraft, right? So you know that when you build something in Minecraft, say wooden stairs, those wooden blocks are now irrevocably stairs. You have to factor in a spot in your inventory for stairs. You have to factor in a spot in your chests for stairs. If you're building something with wood and you find you're missing one block, you can't craft your stairs back. You gotta go find a tree. I hate this. I actually genuinely despise this. Valheim, and I do think some other games before it, but I can't think of them off the top of my head, said, what if when you built stairs, it's still just wood? You tear them down, it's wood again. Doors? Wood again. You're not locked into a specific building just because you accidentally made 40 doors. This is what a loft does, and it's great. I really like the wooden plank and beam system where you can make these cool railings and really bring your building to life. So let's say you've made a cool building. Personally, one of my favorite parts of games like this, making cool buildings. Now you need more stuff. What are you going to do? You're going to leave your building, maybe make a new one somewhere else, and go out to get more stuff. What if I told you that in a loft your building went with you? The main defining mechanic of this game is that you turn these rocky floating islands into actual airships. You attach a helm, you attach wings, sails, you build whatever you want on top, and then you fly your cool building around to where you want to go. My buddy's a big fan of Raft, and he said it's similar in that way, and I've definitely seen the comparison made in looking into this game, but I still haven't played Raft, so I don't think it's fair of me to make that comparison. This is where the game really shines, though. This is so cool. I've spent like three hours just doing this, just flying around with my big rock, gliding down to other places and flying back up while it slowly glides through the air to the next destination. Now, like I said, it's an alpha and it's pretty bare bones at the moment in some other regards. Combat is passable, but it's a bit lacking with just these three mushroom enemies. There aren't any animals, there aren't any different biomes, there's literally no story or progression yet. But the developers are very open about what they intend to add. If you go to the Discord, they're constantly sharing concept art of different enemies, or those missing animals I mentioned, new biomes they have planned, character customization. Some of the standout parts of the key features page on the game's official website list solving mysteries, crafting buildings to connect islands together, the bellows of ancient leviathans can be heard through the storm, and animal companions. Look. Plenty of developers have made big promises and fallen seriously short of delivering. But the distinction here is that once again, this isn't early access. 
You aren't paying them for an unfinished game with big promises. It's a demo. And as a demo, I'm really blown away. So if you give the demo a try, again, link is in the description. Tell me what you think. I'd love to hear it. Heck, drop on by my Discord and send pictures of your island. I think that'd be really cool, and I really think you guys will like this one. And this is a game that I plan to return to and keep doing videos on as the development progresses. I may even do some streams on it. I want to thank Astrolabe Interactive again for the code. It's essentially the same as the demo, but I got to see some stuff a bit early, so that's pretty cool. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.